Hello. In this lesson, we're going to add or subtract with algebraic fractions. We begin with x over 2 plus x over 3. Now, to add these fractions, we need a common denominator. And the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. And so we'll make the denominator over 6. To do this, we need to multiply x over 2 by 3. And we need to multiply x over 3 by 2. Because 2 times 3 will make 6. And 3 times 2 will make 6. So we have 3x minus 2x over 6. That is 3x minus 2x all over 6, which is just x over 6. For question B, we have a over c minus 4 over 2c. And the lowest common multiple of a denominator now is 2c. So we're going to multiply this fraction by 2, and that will give c times 2, 2c. And a times 2 is 2a minus 4 over 2c. So this becomes 2a minus 4 over 2c. And we can factorize the numerator to make two lots of a minus 2 over 2c. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So that will be a minus 2 over c. For question C, we have 1 over 2x minus 1 over 5x. Now, the lowest common multiple of 2x and 5x will be 10x. So we're going to multiply this fraction by 5, because 2x times 5 will make 10x. And 5x multiplied by 2 would make 10x. So 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2. So now we have 5 minus 2 over 10x, which is 3 over 10x. And for question D, we have 2y minus 1 over 3 minus y plus 2 over 4. And the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 4, which is 4 lots of 2y minus 1. And we need to multiply this numerator and denominator by 3, because 4 times 3 makes 12. And that is 3 lots of y plus 2. So now we can expand these brackets out. We have 4 times 2y, which is 8y minus 4 times 1. Take away 3 times y and 3 times 2 over 12. And we're going to expand this bracket out now. So we have 8y minus 4 minus 3y minus 6 over 12. 8y take away 3y is 5y. And the negative 4 take away the 6 is minus 10 over 12. And for question E, we have 3 over g plus 2 plus 2 over g plus 1. And the common denominator now, we need to multiply this fraction by this value. and this fraction by this value. So we have three lots of g plus 1 over g plus 2 multiplied by g plus 1 plus two lots of g plus 2 over the product of g plus 1 and g plus 2. So we have 3g plus 3, by expanding out this bracket, plus 2g plus 4, all over 
the product of g plus t and g plus one. So we have 3g and 2g, which is 5g, 3 and 4, which is 7, all over g plus t, lots of g plus 1. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out mrmathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.